So in my book, Age of Context, we wrote about these things called uh, contextual digital assistance. Things like Google Now, if, you, if you're familiar with that. But here we have Easily Do, which is going to show us uh, uh, the, the best of breed of these new contextual digital assistants. Who are you? Michael Berner, CEO and co-founder of a company called Easily Do. Uh, before uh, co-founding Easily Do about two years ago, uh, I had started a company in 1999 by the name of Bevocal. Uh, it was one of the first cloud-based systems that uh, basically if you call into a bank and speak to that bank or telco, you're probably talking to the Bevocal platform. Nuance purchased us in uh, 2007, and then I worked there for three years before having this idea. The idea being, um, why should you have to ask an agent to do something for you when that agent uh, has access to all of the same systems you do and can probably figure out what you're going to want to do next? Yeah. So, it, you know, in this new world of Google Now, which uh, tries to help you, in fact, the code word for these Google Glass was uh, wingman, right? Was trying to be a wingman for you, trying to assist you as you live your life as you walk into an airport and show you things or into a grocery store and show you other things. What does Easily Do that um, do that is new and groundbreaking that people might not be aware of? We're, we, um, we focus on trying to figure out what your next intent is. So intent is uh, a person, um, all of us have typically about 200 to 300 intentions a day, things that we want to do. But we want to um, figure out how to get to Rackspace to meet with Robert Scoble, or we want to um, show up for a flight that we've booked, or we even want to uh, book a hotel reservation. So what we try and do is we look at all of the different signals, we call them contextual signals, things that we find in calendar, as well as in your email, and your Facebook, and your location, and we try and figure out, well, based on those things, and the time of day, and the, the type of person, what are they going to want to do next? And then we try and be there with the answer for you. Uh, so that you don't have to go searching and digging around in all the different apps for the different things to try and get something done. There's a bunch of, the, of competitors in this space. Uh, Google Now is the one that everybody knows. What makes you different? We, um, we believe that uh, the, no the amount of coverage is critical. So, uh, What do you mean by coverage? Coverage means um, making sure that the brands that you care about and the things, that the systems you use, you being a, the typical uh, person, that they are um, something that the app is tied into. And so very few apps have tied into as many things as we've tied We've tied into, uh, with this release, what we'll announce, over 300 different uh, services that were tied into. Give me a sample of some of them. Uh, United Airlines, OpenTable, um, different hotels, Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, Evernote, Dropbox. Uh, so a lot of pro you know a lot of really well used apps and things like Google Now. Uh, Google Now is really plugged into one thing, which is Google properties. Um, yeah. Uh, so they don't. Which is a lot of data because uh, United data. Airlines pushes an email into my e into my Gmail, right? So if you if you run your life on Gmail and Google Calendar, you're probably going to hit a lot of the same services, won't you? You you will. One of the things that we are definitely better at is making sure that we cover all the airlines you might fly on. Uh, we've been testing things, uh, so you, you hit on a great example, the, the United Airlines um, card. That, uh, there are two things we do better. One is getting the different airlines, even if it's Gmail, but we also do it in Yahoo and Exchange and other yeah. IMAP mails, which uh, Google now doesn't. There's and a lot of people who don't use Gmail as their main yeah. email and don't use Google Calendar using an Out Outlook or an Exchange Calendar, right? Yes, yeah, a lot of enterprise folks, uh, for example. And then. Um, and then we do, we do it really fast. Well, in fact, we'll, uh, if, if you want, we'll have Hale yeah. send us an email and you'll see these things pop up super quick. Yeah, uh, let, let's uh, see a demo of this. And yeah, let's, um, and let me, uh, be, actually, before we go to the speed demo, how about if I take you th into the app itself? Okay. Um, so, uh, so this is the application. Yep. Uh, and this is the first time, this is what you see when you first come in. So it helps to organize your life by, uh, doing things like pulling together, these are, these are things that um, Google Now doesn't do, for example, organizes things by uh, getting rid of duplicate contacts. We're also always looking in the email for um, important new contact information from somebody you may be 
yep. uh, uh, dialoguing with. So if uh, that could be a sales prospect or it could be a new friend and we offer to add that contact information to your contacts way. Cool. Reminders, we check traffic and let you know when you should leave for your next meeting. We remind you of um, uh, different events that you need to take care of, tracking. We track things like uh, um, shipments, uh, birthdays, that kind of stuff. And then we help you celebrate by uh, commenting on good news. If your friend's having a great day and it's posted on Facebook, we find that for you so you can help. Now this is a great example of something that I want to turn off. Can I turn off birthdays? Because I hate birthdays, to tell you the truth. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's log in and see what it looks like. And you can log in with uh, Facebook or Google Plus? Yes. Um, so uh, Facebook, Google Plus, or you can, I've, uh, I'm just using my email here, so okay. log in with that. Um, all right. Okay, so we're logging in. And um, the app's got sort of, one of the things that we think is really important is that Yep. Uh, keeping the navigation of the application really simple. So it's always just a simple feed and our job is to make sure that what's at the top of the feed is the thing you're going to care about most at that moment. So after this I've got a call, um, for example, with uh, regarding Wells Fargo. So there's a quick action here. We can hit the button and jump onto the call if we want. I'll, ca I'll actually cancel it. Okay. It's pulled the bridge out of your contacts so you, can, um, you don't have to put the bridge all together. That's something you've seen before. No, that's nice. Um, so you look in the, my email and my calendar and you're trying to find these actionable things to help me out. Uh, you're competing on, on that aspect with like Tempo, right? Tempo does the same thing, so uh, at least with the phone numbers, right? Yes. So the, um, the, the main difference between Tempo and what we're doing is that they're really a smart calendar application. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to make your calendar really clever and smart. And in that case, um, this sort of thing makes sense, what they're doing makes sense. What we're, we're doing is we're trying to operate very close to the user. So almost a feed of um, what their next thing is, which is as humans, we tend to operate very serially. This is a free app? It is. Okay. And what, what other kinds of things, give me some more use cases of where I would use this kind of app. Yes. We would, uh, you, uh, so the next thing we've got here is we do, we allow users to put in reminders as well. So you can add reminders about different things. Often our users, as they're going through the feed, they'll see something, they'll trigger them and say, hey, I want a reminder about that. Can, can I geofence reminders? So if I get to the grocery store, can it remind me to pick up some milk or something like that? Right now, they're just time-based. Okay. Uh, you can do things like, um, this is a, you can flag important emails. So that's an email that came in that I flagged as a, a bunch of emails that I flagged as important. So basically, this is saying, this is a filter for VIP emails, which can be based off of a number of uh, different things. Okay. We're pulling flight itineraries here from your emails, so you can see the flight itinerary information for flight. To now you out. grab that automatically because I gave you access to my, my email uh, app on the iPhone? Yes. Okay. Uh, here's an, uh, a, a same sort of thing, uh, reservation. Yep. For uh, Roy's that I have tonight. Um, here are some packages that have been shipped so you can uh, track shop uh, packages that have been pulled out of email. Okay. Um, here's, you know, Walt Mossberg's got a new job, so if, I, if you want, you can, we pull that out. Uh, notice he's someone that you correspond with frequently, and then you can automatically post it as well, so you're done with that. Okay. Um, I've been connected to Facebook, so I'll ignore that for now, but. Okay. Um, and then uh, duplicate contacts. So there are 48 duplicate contacts in my address book. You can clean them all up at once. So um, great. Pick the ones you want to do and ignore the others and get them all merged. Awesome. All right. Um, and while that's merging, I can show you some of the other things we've got here in Hadel's. Uh, so. Um, for example, I, we talked about looking into uh, email for new contact information. Here's a friend of hers that she's been corresponding with that added some new contact information. Yep. Um, and so you can go in and add that information to the address book. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Um, now, some of these things, uh, when I've used them, have gotten things wrong. Uh, I live on a golf course, for instance, and it, it, one of the assistants that, that competes with you kept telling me all about golf stuff that's happening. Is there any way to correct signals that are showing up that's wrong? Uh, well, you told me you can turn off birthdays. Give me some other examples of things I could correct here. Yes. That, because these systems are looking at so much data that uh, occasionally they get something wrong. My wife might have forwarded a, a plane ticket to me 
I don't need to know that, right? Yes. So. We, um, you can, uh, there's a, a way to tell us quickly in the application that we've got something wrong. Uh, and then, but the most important thing we do is give users control over the different tasks that they have turned on or off. So uh, in the app itself, you don't need to show me. I just wanted to talk through talk some through of this cor yep. correctability. Uh, each, each, uh, each one of the tasks is something that you can discreetly turn on and off. Uh, there are 36 of them now. Okay. Uh, and so that's the best way to control the application. And then we also have a feature where you can quickly shake the phone and give us feedback and say this is incorrect. Uh, and then we take that data and we, we in, uh, improve the algorithms. The technology is split into two parts. The first part is the interface on the phone. Most of the intelligence is happening in the network, and so we can do corrections uh, in, in, within hours of finding those Very mistakes. Very cool. Whenever I talk about the age of context, or particularly these kinds of apps that try to assist you and are looking deep into your life, privacy almost always comes up. How do you protect somebody's privacy here? And, and do you have the ability to look at every, like my, my flights and stuff like that as a CEO of this company? I explain that to a normal person, how, how you control the privacy. Yes, yeah. privacy is a, is a huge deal, of yeah. course. We, um, the first thing is that from the start, we, we believe in our rules and we put systems in place. The user's data is their data. We don't sell it. Um, we don't even sell it in aggregate form. It's theirs. And we protect it. The same team that built the system that you use when you do your banking at Wells Fargo built the systems and we put the same controls in. So we encrypt your data when it's sent. Um, the people that can read the information are screen qualified and sign a, a special agreement within the, the company. Um, and we don't store your data unless we have to. And then when it is stored, we try not to store it all in one place. So we keep the name of the user separate from the boarding pass, for example. Yeah. Tell me where your company's going. Cause it, this is an interesting field of assistance and I, you know, you're competing with Google and there's a lot of other competitors who are trying to do similar kinds of things, whether it's just for the calendar or for my life. I already asked you about geofences, to, and you said you don't support those on to-do lists. Tell me where you th where you think your company's going with this. We we think that we're just going through a very inter interesting age now, where pretty soon you won't be able to operate without some pretty serious automation in your life, uh, an assistant that helps you manage your online life or your your electronic life. That's happened for some. The uh, future's already here for some of us. And so um, we want to be one of the companies that provide a trusted assistant that can help us uh, all. Uh, you, you know, what that means over the next 10 to 17 years is really exciting. Uh, there's, there are many people that believe within the next 17 years those assistants will actually become sentient and, and be able to help and think. And uh, if, you know, if you saw her, the movie, really, really mm -hmm. interesting movie. That sort of stuff is starting to happen and that's the kind of thing we want to help uh, build and be a part of. What about battery life? Does this uh, need to track me as I move around the world and study my common behaviors? If, uh, that's two separate questions. One is, is it hitting the GPS and actually watching me that, at that level? And two, what is the battery hit uh, on uh, iOS device? Because that's really important to a lot of people. Yes, and we're, um, <coughs> we're on Android as well. Uh, so the, um, I just wanted to highlight that as well. So yep. we, we have the app on Android and also on watches, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Yep. The um, uh, battery life is, the hit is, we don't hit GPS unless you've got a specific task turned on that lets, requires us to hit it. So for example, tell me when I should leave for my next meeting. And in that case, we really, really, we use geofencing to cut down the number of hits that we're gonna make uh, on, on your device, but we're not um, just tracking your, your location in the hopes it'll be useful in the future. It's something you have direct control over and none of our features really drain battery life that much. Okay, and um, what else? Is there ever gonna be advertising or how are you, how are you guys gonna monetize? Because I, I assume you like to get paid and your investors wanna get paid back, right? That is correct. <laughs> um, so how are you gonna make this a business? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, um, there's, we're rolling out in this feature a premium version of the product yeah. uh, so that um, the idea is that m the, almost everything is, is free, but if you really wanna start to um, leverage this in ways that would 
basically make it an executive a sort of version of it for you. Yeah. That um, that's something that you is in the premium package. The things that are now are uh, real time email for not just Gmail but Yahoo, which has never been done before in Exchange or that we're aware of in this space. So within seconds of receiving an email, that boarding pass is right where you want it, or that hotel information or other things. Um, we also get um, the ability to add contacts. It, right now we. We do it and you have to confirm it. It's one of the things that our users like. But a lot of people that really trust us say, don't confirm anymore. Just go do it. We trust you. Yeah. So that's something that they do. Um, are you using a camera to add stuff? Because uh, a lot of times when I'm getting rebooked on United, I'm at the terminal and I don't have a, even a paper boarding pass yet. But maybe I want to take a picture of it. If I get a new credit card, I want to take a picture of it. I don't want to enter data anymore. And certainly if you give me a business card, I want to take a picture of that and have it added to my contacts. Are you thinking of that? Yes. Uh, it's not in the application now, but that's a natural uh, thing that we'd like to add in the future. Cool. Um, and tell me a little bit about the company. How are you guys funded and uh, how many people work there? Um, I just want to yep. back it up one sec, uh, step. The, um, the other thing is that we will do to, for monetization is that when users have intentions, they're, a lot of them are purchasing. Yeah. So um, we're already I want a starting to click on camera, something like that. Yes. Yeah. Or or making that hotel reservation. So if, if we see that you have to you booked a flight or you're going to be in Austin and you know hotel, we can make a, a a good suggestion for you. The goal is to make the right suggestion, not just take you to a, a, a website. Yeah. Um, and if that turns out to be something you want to purchase, then we we, we uh, participate in that. The um, the company was started in 2000, uh, March of 2011. We've been uh, lucky enough to work with in, uh, investors like US Venture Partners and Mayfield, who have uh, backed a number of firms. And um, we're now 26 people. Uh, we announced, uh, launched the, the iOS application a year ago, and then the Android application six months ago. Uh, we've got over 6,000 five-star reviews. The app's doing great. It's awesome. the next version. So. Yeah, well, I, it's a great app. A uh, couple last things. I, I noticed you have a watch out here. What is? What are you guys thinking about with uh, regards to wearables like the smart glasses or watches? Uh, we think they're huge. They, what they do for us, we're an app that makes sure you never miss anything. And to, to do a better job of that, being two seconds closer to you, making it so you don't have to whip out the phone and get the passcode in, yeah. and just bringing the notification here is a big deal. So we, we've been working with Samsung on their gear devices. Uh, we're we're working with uh, working on some Google Glass functionality as well, and we, we think wearables are really exciting. Yeah, and then for developers, do you have an API uh, that it, developers can use this kind of functionality in their own apps? We uh, we do. Um, so the users uh, developers can tie into either our actions or our, our, our you know the things we find or the things we execute. And if somebody's interested, they should contact us directly. So. Very cool. And where do we get it? You get it in the uh, iOS store or in the Android store. Yep. Um, I easily do. There, the new version comes out today. Um, so check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for coming. Thanks for having me. It was great to be here. I love this place. I know. So it's really neat. Yeah.